the American plan consisted of seven basic points and also of what the U.S. administration was prepared to do if, in fact, the Serbian side, i.e. Belgrade, accepts the contact, this contact group plan, how the U.S. would act in terms of uh, implementing, what kind of assistance they would provide, and, of course, what the U.S. and the Allies would be prepared to do if Belgrade does not accept the contact group peace plan. Clearly, I think the key element behind this initiative is that we can no longer rely upon the measures of coercion or persuasion that existed under the old plan uh, regarding um, the invitation to the Serbian side to accept and implement the contact group peace plan. In order for this plan to have value, it cannot be on the basis of um, some new arrangement brought about by new realities on the ground, as some have said, but in fact, it should be on the basis of what can be done to compel the side that has continued to refuse to accept the plan, what can be done to compel them to accept the plan. We will allow the U.S. administration, this American initiative, to continue to form new ideas. But I, th I think that uh, the main focus will not be so much on territorial exchanges, although, of course, there may be something in that area, but more on what needs to be done to compel the Serbian side to accept the plan, and how, in fact, will the Bosnian government uh, and its uh, uh, armed forces be provided the opportunity to uh, continue to resist aggression and to reverse the consequences of that aggression, in particular as it relates to realizing the uh, Federation plan.